good Tuesday morning to you and welcome to Winging It Buffalo Style. I'm Lauren Hall. And I'm Matt Snyder. We have a great show for you this morning. It's another Food Truck Tuesday with Larkin Square. And today we have the guys from the Black Market Food Truck cooking inside our kitchen. Ever since they came on the food truck scene, they have been racking up the accolades and building a cult culture of their own. And we can't wait to get cooking with them in just a little bit. And we'll wash it down with some beer from Buffalo's newest brewery. We'll have Big Ditch Brewing Company in the studio today as we celebrate Beer Week here in Buffalo. We'll check in with them, plus we'll have details on how you can get involved in this upcoming festivities. And here on the CW23, we brought you part one of the big iHeartRadio Music Festival last night from Taylor Swift to Coldplay. Lots of biggest uh, music's biggest names took the stage, and we will have a full recap of the festival during Tuesday Tunes Day with Judd from Kiss 98.5. He's also wearing a very musical t-shirt today, so I can't wait for people to see that. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> it sure is a good one. But hey, we alluded to this in the beginning of the show just a couple seconds ago. If you haven't seen some of the grain elevators, you have to check this out. They were completely transformed. Crews are turning one of the grain silos at Buffalo's Riverworks into a Labatt Blue Six Pack. The giant pack of, buff of the Buffalo favorite will be home to the company's new in-house brewery. So that familiar logo they are placed on six of the silos. The rest are going to be completed throughout the week. That is one of those things that makes me say only in Buffalo would a grain silo be turned into a Labatt Blue Six Pack. We say that so Buffalo every <laughs> once in a while on the show. It's in, it's in some of our promotions and I have to say when I saw that I was coming back from Virginia Virginia, and I literally said, yep, that is so Buffalo. Absolutely. I, I think it changes the skyline. It's cool. I, I don't have any uh, anything negative to say about it. I, I just wonder who looked at that and decided to do it. And that's going to be one of those things I bet that we see so many people flocking to that area to get a picture of themselves with that in the background. Just like Shark Girl a couple weeks ago, everyone wanted their picture taken with Shark Girl at the canal side so they could upload it to social media. This is going to be the new Shark Girl. I was literally just thinking when we were talking about it, do I have enough time during my day to day that I could sneak down and grab a picture? So hopefully, there might be a moment and we can uh, get some of that up on our social media. You're going to have to do it from far away because they're huge. You're going to have to be like at another vantage point to get the entire thing in your picture. <laughs> they're definitely That's something tip. very impressive. We look forward to seeing all of your pictures with the, the new grain mills. Uh, but if you want to do that, post them right on our social media. But we have another story that's also That's So Buffalo and pretty good to talk about that morning from Labatt Blue to the Bills. Apparently, Bills jerseys are a staple in wardrobes across the state. Dick Sporting Good just released the top selling jerseys in each state since the beginning of the NFL seasons and get this Bills jerseys are ranked number one right here in New York State. This is beating out both the Giants and the Jets. I have to say I was a little surprised by that but very excited to hear that up. People couple, are representing bills all over the state. Yeah, a couple things here. This is one of those things that will help us have even more bragging points when we say that Buffalo is the only uh, NFL city where our team actually plays in New York State. The, uh, the Giants and the Jets, of course, playing out in New Jersey. I think these numbers are from a couple weeks ago, from right after we got the news when uh, Terry Pagula and Kim Pagula would be purchasing the bills. So they were here to stay. So maybe if you were holding <laughs> off, you celebrated by buying yourself a brand new jersey. I don't know if these numbers would be the same for this week. There's a little bit more turmoil at One Bills Drive today. They lost their last two games. They had a quarterback change up yesterday. So we're going to have those details uh, from Jordan coming up in the dish. But hey, we'll see a lot of Bills jerseys around town, it's I something, guess. something like you said we can brag about. Now, we, these are only from Dick's Sporting Goods mm -hmm. stores. But if more people are wearing Bur Bills jersey, there's more Buffalo love out there. Nothing to complain about on this morning. All right, love <laughs> that you said Buffalo love because that is the perfect headline for our next story. Vanessa Williams, uh, the actress, supermodel, for former Miss, uh, Miss America. I love the way that she met her fiance. She just got engaged to a man from Buffalo. He's actually from Depew. They met a couple years ago when they were on separate vacations in Egypt. He caught her eye because she was he was wearing a saber shirt and she walked up to him and said, excuse me, sir, are you from Buffalo? Her mom is from here. She's from upstate New York. Uh, she, of course, was Miss New York State. She went to Syracuse University. So she noticed that sabers jersey right away, walked right up to the guy two years later. They're engaged. How great is that? I just love that it takes place in Egypt right. because the story you know if it took place in San Diego or any other uh, city in the United States but the fact that it takes place across the, the ocean and people still recognize that Sabres logo. That's so cool. And I think it's something a lot of people from here in Western New York can relate to. Whenever you travel and you happen to see someone in a Bills logo or wearing a Sabres jersey or something, you are inclined to go up and introduce yourself. It's really not that uncommon. So I'm not that surprised that it would happen in Egypt because it seems to happen everywhere. And you're always excited to meet someone from the same area Well, because you. you're always looking for that Western New York connection no matter where you are. It's something people bond over. It's something you can talk about. And of course, everyone in Buffalo's friends so that friend
friendliness is, you take it anywhere you go. I, it just gives me chills. Every time I talk about this story, great little write-up. That's all according to the Buffalo News. So congrats again to Vanessa Williams. Okay, now before we move on with the show, we have to go back to one of our favorite stories of this back-to-school season. That was of this young man in Schenectady who wanted this picture to be his official senior yearbook picture. He was anticipating the school shutting him down, so he preemptively started an online petition, which gained a lot of national attention and a lot of national support. Well, here's the update. This is the version of the photo that will be going in his high school yearbook. The woman who has been photoshopped into it is his high school principal with her rescue dog. I mean, there's nothing negative about this story. No. There's nothing that's not completely laughable. It's completely feel good. I love that it's a cat and a dog. And this is the perfect example of a principal that is making the effort to relate to her students. Absolutely. There's cool high school principals, and this is definitely a cool high school principal. She clearly gets the joke. She's in tune with it. And they're going to put this in the yearbook. It's something that everyone in that graduating class will remember forever. And it's raising awareness for animal adoption. So it's all for a good cause, too. So good job, Devin. Great from Schenectady. Great work. And I have to say, there's always those moments in high school that you hear about later on, that classes that weren't part of it here on. And I think this is going to be one of those moments where people are in the hall like 10 years later saying, do you remember when there was that cat photo in the yearbook and talking about it and hyping it up? So it's very cool. We absolutely do <laughs> all have those moments in high school. Can't wait to see it printed in that yearbook. Let's toss things.